Hello Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, and cross watchers. This is your tarot and oracle reading for the month of August 2024. First card out for you is the Sun. Yes, I love this. This is the major arcana card that is representing the entire month of August for you. And you could not get a better major arcana card because the Sun upright literally just represents good times ahead, going out, enjoying life outside, like out there in the world, you know? Like some of you might be traveling, spending time with loved ones, vacationing, just being outside, enjoying this season, whatever season you find yourself in. I love that. Feeling good about yourself, feeling happy. Like this is genuine abundance and feeling very pleased with the direction your life is going in and the experiences that you're having this month. I feel like you are going to be making a lot of beautiful memories. And the sun also represents just love, like feeling loved, feeling fulfilled. There could be an excitement in your love life, an excitement going on, like just in life in general, like you're excited by life and everything that's happening. So I love that for you. This is a really great sign as your first card. The overall spiritual theme and message that is coming out for you is the rattle and it is in reverse and this is offering you a healing medicine to take with you in the month of August. For some reason, I keep wanting to say October, <laughs> which is nowhere nearby. Um, but yeah, the rattle itself as a spirit, it, it takes our, our spirit, our will and brings it into reality. It is a magical tool that can disperse energy, attract energy. It is really powerful for our ability to use our free will, our conscious intention to rearrange the energies in our life. And so you're being asked to recognize your own power, recognize your own worth and understand that your words make a difference. Your influence is a lot greater than you realize. It has a lot more reach than you realize. And if you change only like one person's perspective on something, if you make one person's day a little bit better, they take that energy, that message, that knowledge, that wisdom, and they spread it. And those people spread it and those people spread it. And it becomes like this chain reaction of healing, enlightenment, education, understanding, in the world. And on the flip side, you know, when you're having a bad day and you lash out at someone or you criticize someone or you put someone down or you rub dirt in their wounds, they again spread that energy like a chain reaction. You have so much more power and influence in this world than you realize. And what you need to do is be the change that you want to see. If you want people to handle their anger in an appropriate way, that's healthy and meaningful, you have to start with yourself. It's like that Michael Jackson song. I'm starting with the man in the mirror. <laughs> I'm asking him to change his ways. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's a very powerful message there. You know, if you want to see change in the world, you have to be that change yourself. Okay, your message from spirit is be proud stunning. And this says, it's time to celebrate all that you've achieved, all that you are and all that you will become. Every once in a while, it's important to stop and acknowledge what you've achieved and to be proud. And exactly, I'm seeing that like so hardcore in your messages and just the feelings, the vibes I'm getting from August for you. The universe, your ancestors, your past loved ones, your spirits that are around you, cheering you on. I don't know if the microphone caught that, but there was like a squeaking outside, almost like a celebratory sound. I don't know what that is, but um, I feel like this is an alignment. Like there's a reason we just heard that sound. They're asking you to celebrate what you've already accomplished and what you're already doing because it's really important what you're doing. It's really awesome what you're doing. And it's so, so, so important for you to enjoy each step of the way, each journey and celebrate the little wins. I don't care, like the littlest win for me, I'm celebrating. <laughs> I don't care. Pop that champagne or, or not, you know, do something fun, give myself a day to rest, whatever. Like the littlest tiny wins, absolutely. Like this is an excuse to get together. Mm. Very, very beautiful. Okay, we're gonna pick six cards 
two rows of three Pisces. Let's see what comes out for you. We're picking from the Murder of Crows tarot. You have the Five of Swords in reverse as your first card out. So yeah, I feel like a lot of you are transitioning away from problematic individuals or jobs or um, situations, groups, anything like that. The Five of Swords really is a card that shows somebody who just needs to win at all costs, even if it costs him, his friends, the people who love him, the hard workers that are there to work for him or her, you know, whatever the case may be. They just need to win at all costs. They need to be right. They, their ego is, is so sensitive and so big that they need to be the one with the last word. They need to be the one who's right. And they care more about being right than they do about doing the right thing. Okay. And with this coming out in reverse, I feel like you are moving away from people like that, or at least trying to um, get get away from people. Like, I don't know why the message like bad neighbors just popped into my mind. So I'm wondering if some of you have neighbors that you just really can't stand. And it's to the point where you're like, yeah, I'm trying to get out of here. I'm trying to move. But you might not necessarily be able to do that right this second. But like you're, you're doing everything you can to prepare for that. And... Um, bring this new reality in as quickly as you can using the tools that you can. So I don't know, I'm seeing I'm seeing that energy just moving away from problematic individuals or energies and putting yourself into more environments and relationships that are conducive to peace. Okay. We have the hermit coming out in reverse. Wow. Another thing that I'm seeing here is this message of like you only you know the true story you know if there's any I don't know why I'm picking up people who like are assuming bad things or like assuming the worst or rumors gossip things like that so there could be people out there and I'm not saying this like if this doesn't resonate with you don't take it but there could be for some of you people out there and you know that they're getting a false story or they're being fed lies about you or about what you're about and it's like, let them assume the worst, you know, let them assume what they want to assume. You know, I, I, I feel like everyone should make their own decisions, their own opinions on people. So if there's anyone in your life who you just kind of intuitively pick up, like they're being fed false information about you and like hastily walking away from you or not wanting to be a part of your life as a result, that's on them. That's their decision. If they want to have someone in their life who skews their perception of you or or their loved ones that is on them and in fact now that I'm talking about this I am kind of seeing this sort of energy here it's like I don't know why the example that's coming to my mind is very specific and it might not resonate with any of you but like this is just an example of how this energy could play out it's like let's just say um someone has stepchildren and maybe they divorce or separate for some reason from um, their partner. Okay. And, and they spent their whole life loving these stepchildren. That's whatever. Like, and they still want to continue having that relationship there, but then they get into a new relationship and the new girlfriend or boyfriend's like, Oh no, you, you shouldn't talk to those stepchildren. You shouldn't be a part of their lives because they're not your children. And the, the new partner is very, very jealous. You know, it's like, even though they're with somebody who is t feeding them these lies, this sort of negative truth, it's their decision to listen to that. And you have to like respect that decision. Like, okay, this person's poisoning your mind, but like, no, they're the one making the decision to listen to that and not making their own, like not using their own brain, you know? And th another example of this could be like, if you have a parent or a cousin or a friend or something that you see like getting into some sort of cult, whether it's like a religious cult or something. And it's like, you... Can, oh my gosh it's like they just can't think for themselves and it's like believe what you want about me based off of whatever that cult is telling you about people like me but you know I don't know how to describe the energy it's very strange <laughs> like there there could be folks or or situations in your life where it's like they're gonna think what they think about you and there's nothing you can really do to change that and it's like okay the p the truth will always come out eventually in every situation. So if there's somebody who's not listening to you, they don't want to believe you or they don't want to get to know the real you, they want to make their assumptions, they will realize one day what you're actually about. And and they'll see the truth one day because the truth always prevails and will always reveal itself even if it takes time. Okay? Don't wait around for that moment is what I would say, but yeah, I don't know. That's a very strange a uh, very specific predicament. We have the two of wands coming out in reverse. Yeah, wanting a goal, a dream for yourself. 
and it's this sort of energy of like, okay, what's next? I feel like for some reason, I just keep feeling like you've achieved something really big and I'm almost like not wanting to talk about it in your reading because I feel like you yourself are just like off to the next thing. Like, okay, we did that. Now what? You know, that sort of energy. So like I said, make sure you're celebrating your achievements every step of the way, please. All right. We have the nine of wands. Oh, there's a lot that you love, a lot of responsibilities that you have that you're very proud of, a lot of accomplishments that you've made throughout the years. And it's like, I just don't want your negativity to get involved. And in I don't know why I'm seeing an example specifically. Like you could feel that certain family members or people that you know have been indoctrinated into a certain way of thinking, whether it's religious, political, whatever. And you might have your own beautiful life that you've worked very hard to accomplish and achieve. And like, let's just say you try to maintain some sort of connection with these family members. And it's like, you, you have to like have a certain amount of walls up to protect that beautiful life you've created for yourself because like you don't want their negative criticism into your, your subconscious mind or into your energy or aura at all. And there is a certain level of boundaries and walls that you have to have up around these types of people. Does that make any sense? Am I making sense right now? Because I'm not you guys. I'm not a Pisces. So I have no idea what we're talking about. So if any of you want to fill me in on like your personal life examples, like feel free to do so in the comments. I would love to read that. But yeah, there's this element of like protecting your happiness. But the funny thing is, this is going to be a wonderful month for you because I see so much happiness coming in through through those people who do make you really happy. Your chosen family, your created family, your friends, like your life that where you can just really, really be yourself. I feel so much joy coming from that this month. Beautiful. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, I keep coming back to this energy of wanting to get out of something. Like, man, I just want to move out of this town or I want to move out of this house or I want to like get away from this company, get a new job I, or there's just something here. One reality that I think you, it was very supportive of you and it was, you're happy you did it or you're happy you had this experience, but it's time to go. It's that sort of energy. Like it's time for me to go because I've grown, and I'm just speaking from your perspective, I've grown more into myself than I've ever had before. And I feel more myself, more peaceful, more accepting, more loving than I ever had in my life. And I've sort of outgrown this environment or this place. It allowed me the space or resources to grow, but I'm at a certain point now where it's time, I've hit a certain ceiling. And it's time for me to find bigger ponds to swim in, essentially. And then we have the five of cups in reverse. Yeah. Yeah, like ready to take on the present moment. The people who... And I just feel this like really, really loving the people who love you for who you are in this present moment. Like being unbothered by those who may be indoctrinated into weird dogmatic ways of thinking. You know, you're, you're unbothered by it at this point and you're just happy to have the people you really, really love who make you feel loved for exactly who you are in your life and those are your people. And even though there may still be some ties to folks or situations that just don't fully like you or love you for exactly who you are, you are proud of yourself. You have people who are proud of you and love you and that's where you're focusing your attention on. So I, I love the positive thinking. I love the pride that is exuding from you. And just this unconditional love and support that you have for yourself. And those who, who really do know the real you. It's so beautiful. And I see you celebrating that this month uh, with your loved ones, with yourself. Like just celebrating life itself. Like I can breathe and be myself. The real me. And celebrating in that essence, that energy. It just feels so liberating. Mm. Yeah. It's like finally I can just... I, I'm, getting, I'm getting specific examples. I don't want to give too many specific examples because it's not going to relate to everyone. But just know that for some of you, there, there are ways this month in which you feel 
like you can really be the real you okay and you are re celebrating things in your life but as the real you like for example like in the past maybe you went to the beach with all of your I don't know like let's just say you escaped a a cult this is an extreme example let's say you escaped a cult you may have went to the beach with those friends from the cult you know and now it's like I can enjoy going to the beach again without just the all of the drama and mess you know I could I could be myself at the beach so yeah yeah, I don't know. It's really cool. It's interesting. Very interesting. I This is one of those readings where if I were a Pisces, I would come back at the end of the month and rewatch this reading because I feel like if you have no idea what I'm talking about, for some reason, you might know what I'm talking about by the end of the month. So if you're a little bit confused right now, I want to say rewatch this at the end of the month. Um, yeah. All right. I don't know. Uh, that can mean so many different things. Um yeah definitely watch for your sun moon rising and venus signs to get the fullest overview of this month ahead for you like this video come out resonate down below and subscribe to the channel if you have not already if you want a personal reading with me one-on-one the link to that is always in the description box spiritpsychic.org i also offer my intention oils there and spiritual life coaching sessions there i'm sorry i'm laughing because sometimes i do readings and i have no idea what i'm talking about and this is one of those readings it's like i don't know what this is talking about but i'm not supposed to know because I, I don't live your life so <laughs> enjoy whatever this means please fill me in if any of you you know resonated with this and like know what i'm talking about i would love to know let me let me in on what's going on <laughs> okay thank you guys bye bye